Day 16. Good morning. Good morning. It's day 16. Day 16, Richard. I'm over that hump, you know, that like midpoint hump. Sorry, and, I have to adjust the level here. You're still a little low. Well, you are the producer. That's right. You're the audio engineer, the there producer. You you're you're everything. I can see it now. Okay. You're also my lover. <laughs> <laughs> Very complicated relationship. It's a very, very complicated relationship. Like All right. John and Yoko. What are we doing here? We are talking about my keto journey, my keto journey on day 16. And uh, I'm at that midway point, a little bit over it. I'm really excited. What I did notice as I was reading a couple of articles yesterday is that uh, a lot of people refer to it like as the 28 day challenge, like the 28 day keto diet. And here's what happened. And people are talking about it. What I also found, Richard, is that there were a lot of people like me that just simply wanted to share their journey and just wanted to share their experience. They weren't, you know, trying to get anybody to sign up for something. Nobody was trying to get me to buy and, you know, an oil, a supplement, a protein shake. I, Again, I don't know why I'm so against it sometimes, but finding good information is really hard. Um, anyway, so... You can't trust people that are trying to sell you something. It's a little bit difficult. It's a little bit difficult. Um, so I am running out of recipes. It's not because there aren't recipes out there. There are plentiful recipes out there. Um, I will say that resetting myself at this point with a couple of key recipes and mixing them up. Remember we were talking about that sour cream mm -hmm. protein, I mean, sour cream shake with the yeah. almond milk. I felt really good about creating that. And that's because I was using my brain and I was thinking about all the different ingredients. So I need to go back to doing that. I have eggs in the fridge. I have chicken in the fridge. We have some pork and beef and all that good stuff. Um, and some cheese, but now I just, I need to mix up some flavors. So my recommend, my recommendation for today would be to look in, in the spice cabinet. So in the spice cabinet, there aren't any carbs, uh, there, you just have to probably watch for the sodium intake. But, you know, if you look at things like turmeric and paprika and, uh, onion salt, garlic, and kind of, you know, experiment, you know, maybe just do a plain piece of chicken and, Pretend like you're at P.F. Chang's and have like a little bit of like dip sauces and stuff in little bowls and and take your bland piece of chicken and kind of, you know, mix up with mayonnaise. I don't know. We'll see Seems what like we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. That's all. I, yeah. sweets, I don't know if that's going to do the trick. I know the you sweet. Might have some old plan for your sweet craving. I, I was going to cut myself off, but you know what? Uh, the sweet part besides that what we had created yesterday or the day before, whenever that was, there is uh, always the jello option, the jello with the, with the ready whip, uh, the sugar-free ready whip. That is a, a great way to cut that craving. And here is where those supplements, um, or I should say bombs, protein bomb, you know, sugar bombs and not sugar bombs, <laughs> fat bombs, you know, that's where they, it works. Uh, there's a, a product out there that's like literally called a keto bar and I got it at the grocery store and it has a lemon zest bar mm -hmm. and also an almond crunch. And I really think that's pretty tasty. Great. So, like plan. um, so I do have a plan. I do have a plan. And again, you cannot get enough ideas with jello. <laughs> yeah, so that's true. So jello is kind of like bacon, though you can burn out on it. That that's also true. That's also true. All right. Well, we will be back here tomorrow, and we'll see what happens uh, with our experiment of different spices. Sounds good. Talk to you soon. Bye.